Hello, I'm Jamal Muhammad, and I'm going to talk about rhythm. Rhythm is probably the most important thing for any musician to master. Because you can hit wrong notes and get by, but if you're, the rhythm's wrong, everybody's going to know it right away. So I want to start out with the real basic concept of rhythm and, pl and playing music. Most important thing is to listen to the pulse of where the music is. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating on a, on a doombeck, which is one of the drums I play. I'm going to just play a pulse for you. Now, as you can hear, it's just a very even, consistent pulse. That's the first thing that you need to really lock into if you're playing music, to feel where the pulse is and connect with it. And that's something you should never lose. You should always be connected, even though you might be going outside of that pulse and making some interesting rhythms and techniques, but that pulse should always be there. It's like your heartbeat. It's always there. And if it starts getting slower and faster and, you know, out of sync, you're in trouble. Same thing with music. You really got to keep up with where the pulse is um, and, and connect with it. So the pulse is ongoing. Now in music, we divide the pulse up into segments which are called measures or bars. You'll hear people talk about 12-bar blues. or What they're talking about are segments of the rhythm, segments of the pulse. And I'm going to talk a little bit about um, some of the rhythms and time signatures. And don't, don't get worried, you know, about, about too much about music theory, but there are certain basic things you need to know. And the first thing we're going to talk about is probably the very simplest rhythm, which is 2-4. 2-4 is the easiest rhythm to play because you always have a 50% chance of being right. There's only two notes. One, two, one, two. So we're just going to divide this pulse up that I just told you about into two beat segments. So, two, and that's why they call it 2-4. And we'll talk about quarter notes later on, what this four uh, signifies. But the main thing you need to know is it's in twos. You're going to count in two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, you notice I'm playing a low and a high note. The low note is the downbeat. So you always got to know where that downbeat is. And you'll hear musicians talking about where's the one. Well, you can get into some really complex rhythms, but you always got to know where the one is, where the first beat of the measure or the bar is. And like I say, 2-4 is the easiest because you've got a 50% chance of being right. You got the downbeat and then a, another beat after that. Now the beat after that is called the upbeat. And why do they call it an upbeat, downbeats and upbeats? Well, if you think of it this way, if I'm playing the pulse, which is a downbeat, when my hand comes up, that's going to be the upbeat. And So there you have your 2-4 rhythm. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that's probably the simplest rhythm there is, just a, a two, it's dividing it up into two. And it's also a very common rhythm for those of you that know about the polka, if you're into German or some European music, Polish music, or Mexican music, you'll hear it a lot. You'll hear the polkas. Very even. a 2-4 rhythm. So we're talking about a cycle that takes two beats. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Very simple, down beats and up beats. Now, the most common meter or common time signature or common, the most common feel is 4-4. Four, four. And it's even called common meter. Sometimes you'll see a C. If you see it written, that's for common because it's the most common meter that you'll hear, the most common feel. And it's 4-4 four, four, rather than 2-4. What that means is you're dividing the pulse up into four beats instead of two. So now we're talking about four beats. Now I can play the same rhythm I just played, which is a polka, and actually count it in four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same rhythm, same pulse. We're just putting the lines in a different place. Four, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You've got your downbeats and your upbeats. 
<clears throat> now that brings us to um, a very common thing in Western popular music, which is called the backbeat. The backbeat is on two and four. So that's what you're hearing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's basically the upbeat when we're, when we're doing a polka. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the backbeat is on two and four. One, two, three, four. And that's usually the way hip people clap. Now, you're also going to have some people that are not so hip, and they'll be clapping on the downbeats. One, two, three. Not so cool, okay? You want to clap on the upbeats. One, two, three. Makes you look a little bit hipper, you know. So if you're clapping on the downbeats, you know, forget about that. You want to stay, stay hip, stay on the upbeats. Okay, so now let's talk about the four, because we talked about two and four, two, four, and four, four, which is common meter. The note on the bottom signifies quarter notes. So two, four means there's two quarter notes. One, two, okay? Four, four, common, the most common time signature, common meter, you have four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So all we're talking about here is really simple arithmetic. A lot of people get intimidated with reading music, but music really boils down to mathematics. Very simple math. So um, if you think of a pie, for example, you got a pie, you cut it in half. Now the pie is a whole. So if I wanted to play a whole note, for example, I would just play one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It takes up four whole beats. That's called a whole note. That's your whole pie there. Now cut that pie in half, you're going to have two parts of it. One, two. And that's what we were talking about with the two. One, two. That would be a half note, okay? So you got two half notes, one whole note, one, two, three, four. Half note would take up half of that time, which would be actually two beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, of course, all this is relative depending on how fast you're playing. You know, if you're playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. So those are half notes. Now we didn't really talk about whole notes and half notes so much because you really don't need to worry about whole notes and half notes. Very rarely you're gonna encounter those. What you're gonna encounter are quarter notes and that's the next thing we're gonna do. If you take that pie which we divided in half, cut it in half again, now you've got four equal parts. Those are your quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, that's your basic pulse divided up into four beats. And that's probably 90% of the music you're playing right now, you know, if you're playing popular music. It's all, uh, you know, 90% of it is in 4-4. Four, four. So we're thinking in fours. One, two, three, four. And of course, with our clapping on the upbeats or on the backbeat, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what we call the backbeat. As a drummer, you play that a lot. They'll tell you, okay, hit your snare on two and four, or your hi-hat if you're playing jazz, very critical. Hi-hats on two and four, that way all the musicians know, oh, that's your two and four, that's your upbeat, okay? Your downbeats, if you're playing pretty square music, it's gonna be right on the, the downbeats, one and three. You know, we'll get into more complex stuff later on where you get into syncopation. But the backbeat is really critical on two and four, one, Two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, you notice I added another note on the bass. So what I did there is put two notes there. Those notes would be called eighth notes. So we're going to go back to that pie again. Cut it in half again, now you have eight pieces. Eight pieces of pie where you had a whole note, you cut it in half, you have two half notes. Cut them in half again, you have four quarter notes. Cut them in half again, segments are getting smaller, time's getting smaller. Now you have eight notes, eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's your eighth note. 
So you got eighth notes, you know, quarters, eighths. The last thing we're going to talk about is sixteenth notes. Okay, and sixteenths is the last subdivision. This is all about subdivision. Start out with a whole, divide it in half. Got two halves, four quarters, eight eighths. Now we're going to do one more, and this is the last one. We're not going to get in beyond this, but the last thing we're going to talk about is sixteenth notes. Now you notice I counted one and two and three and four and. Well, the numbers one, two, three, four. Those are your downbeats. The ands are your upbeats. So for the eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that measure has eight beats. We're playing eighth notes. For sixteenths, we're going to double that. And the way we count it, musicians pretty much in, in the West, now if you go to India or other places, they have their own syllables, but we just use these syllables. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Sixteen notes. Four quarter notes, dividing each one into four beats, so you have sixteen beats to the measure now. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay, so the 16th notes, you're just going to put each beat, you're going to put four, four beats on there. So I'm going to play a whole note uh, as a bass note, and then the rest of them are the 16th notes. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So you can see we got 16th, 16 notes there. Okay, now I'm going to play all the downbeats. So we're going to have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now the last thing I'm going to do is put the back beat in, because this is really important when you're playing, especially rock and roll, uh, most popular types of music. Like I said earlier, the two and the four. So I'm going to accent the two and the four. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E. So it's a very simple approach to playing a, a rock or popular type of common, common meter, what we call common time signature. So just to recap, we got the whole note, takes up four beats, two half notes, two beats each. Then we got quarter notes, which are four, four beats, one, two, three, four. Eighth notes, eight beats, one and two and three and four and. And then the 16th notes, 16 beats, four, four notes to each beat. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So with that, if you got a good concept of quarters, eight, sixteenths, we can do just about anything you want to do with music.